today, we shall be treating bearing and distance. When we talk about the word bearing, it means we are interested in talking about the direction of objects. Okay? And when we talk about distance, that means we talk about the space between objects. And now when we talk about the word direction, there are two ways in which we can use in getting direction of objects. The first one is the use of compass, okay, which is known as the compass bearing. While the second one is the use of what is known as true bearing. And when we talk about this true bearing, this is when we are talking about the three-figure bearing. So today, we shall be talking about the first part, which is known as the compass bearing. This video is going to be in episodes. So this is going to be the episode one. Now, when we talk about this compass bearing, we are dealing with the direction of an object. Take, for instance, the sailing of an object and when we talk about the direction of an object, we are used to this on the compass, which is known as the, the, the four cardinal uh, point. Here we have the north. Here we have the east. Here we have the south. And here we have the west. This talks about the direction of an object. Take, for instance, the sailing of a ship. So we use this compass to know the direction in which the ship is going. Okay, the same thing with a plane. You know, it is just an open field. It's somewhere that is open. So we make use of bearing to know the direction in which the plane is heading to. So anything between the north and the east, anything between north and east, okay, any direction or any point in between this is known as the what? The north east. Let me change the marker. Okay. And um, anything between the north, the south, and the east is known as the southeast. So we call this the south east. And I want you to take note of something. We take bearing from the north, okay? especially from these um, vertical lines. From the north is where we take the bearing. And also here, we take it from the south. So the bearing starts from here. So that means we are going from north to, from north, we are going to east. So that's why we have the northeast here. And here we are going from the south to east. The same thing with this. So here we say that we go from the south we are going to the west, okay? From this south, we are going to the west. So here we have the southwest. And for the last part, like I told you earlier on, we start from the north. We are going to the west, okay? From the north, going to the west. So here we have the north west. Don't forget, you don't say we are going from east to south. No, don't. the shortcut for you is that we pick it from the horizontal line, okay? The north and the south. So then, you can either be from the north to the east, from the south to the east, from the south to the west, and also from the north to the west. So that's how we have it. And there are some other points in which you can pick. That means from the northeast to the east, we are going to have the northeast east, but for this purpose of this class, let's um, ignore that. Therefore, don't forget, please, we don't we don't take direction from the horizontal that is either the east or the west. Okay. Now, um, continuing from this, or let me just write this for the purpose of um, documentation that bearing. Okay, starts from the north okay from the north yeah so if you want to take your direction you can start from the north or let me include or the south okay if you want to take the direction but normally bearing start from the north 
Okay. Um, now let's look at some examples on this. So picking some examples on this. Um, given the following, we have the following bearing. Um, I'm having my north, my east, my south, and my west as usual. Okay? So we have this. We have this as 42 degree. We have this as 58 degree. We have these as 30 degree, and here I'm having these as 50 degree. Let me call this A, B, C, D. Now, using um our compass bearing, we want to determine the direction, okay, of each of these sides given to us here. Yeah? We have A, B, C, and D. So when we are look, we're looking for the direction of A, I can say that my A, looking at the direction, don't forget, like I told you earlier on, our direction starts from the north. So, direction will start from here, coming down here. So, direction will start from the north. Oh, okay, good. So, direction will start from the north, coming to the east. So, from the north to the east is what? 42 degree. So, my A is going to be what? Is going to be north to east, okay, which is what 42 degree. Also, for the second part, I said we are picking the direction from the south going to the east, from the south going to the east, not from the east coming to the south, not because we have 58 degree here, but because the rule says from the south, okay? If it is up, it is going to be from the north. If it is down, it's going to be from the south. So, we are going from the south to the east. So, here we have, for the B, we have our B, the direction is going to be from the south to the east, and we have 58 degree. Now, looking at the third one, the rule says that we go from the south, we are going to the west. From the south, we are going to the west. But there's nothing here. There's nothing here. And one thing I forgot to mention is that when we have bearing, okay, when we have a compass, each of the point or of the size is going to be 90 degree. This is 90 degree because it forms a perpendicular line. This is also 90 degree. This is also 90 degree. So that's why when you add everything together, 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90, everything is going to be 360. Okay? And that is the sum of angle at a point. So everything is going to be 360. So since this is 90 also, that is, we have the whole of this to be 90 degree. And this short space is 30 degree, so the remaining part of it is going to be what? 60 degree. So when that shows that when you have 60 plus 90, that gives what? A 60 plus 30, that gives 90. So coming from the south to the west, we have what? 60 degree. So our C is from the south 
to the west, which is what? 60 degree. And the last part, which is the D, So for our D, from the north, coming to the west, so we have it to be 50 degrees. There's no need for us to add or subtract anything from there. So that one is syntax. So our D is from the north going to the west, and we have that to be 50 degrees. So this is a short way for us to be able to identify our points in um, using compass bearing okay